Hi guys, Bloody Vintage here. Um, just want to do a complete beginner's guide to um, how to just to check over and load film uh, for your 35 millimeter camera. Uh, this one I picked up for $5 at the thrift store, so figured I'd take a chance. It's a Voigtlander Vitaret, um, and just sort of judging by my research, it's the first one in 1961. Um, just super lightweight, cheap camera. I didn't really have to do much, just sort of cleaned it up just a little bit and tightened a few things. And a few things are, you know, a little bit of a dent there, screw missing there, but it seems to work fine. Um, so when you pick something like this up, uh, what I would do is, uh, the first thing you wanna test is just making sure that it actually will snap a picture. So literally advancing the film and then pushing down and you can hear that click. And then you wanna make sure you do that again and hear that click. Uh, so that's the main thing I check. Most uh, um, buttons are on the top for the click. This one happens to be on the front. Uh, I don't really like it because you have to sort of push down on the camera, getting you out of focus. Uh, yeah, so that's the main thing I would check. Other than that, obviously the, the, the lenses and things like that to make sure that they're all scratched or gunked up. It's gonna take too much effort. So the first thing you wanna do is, you know, figure out how to, um, to load the film. So all cameras are different, um, 35 millimeters. <clears throat> so basically some of the buttons on the bottom to have a release. I'll actually show you my other camera after. Um, but this one, most have these little, little ridges on there. Uh, I don't know what you want to call that, but basically this one, you just kind of push down and then that kind of unlocks it and then push it again, pops it open. So I went push down on the top, push down on the bottom and it releases. So there you go. Uh, the main thing that I personally look for is um, in the center there, you can actually see where you can see your shutter open and close. So again, if I advance, and then I'm just gonna make sure you guys will be able to see that. And then, now I don't know if you saw a little movement in there. I'll do it once more. Again. And you can see the shutter open for just a quick second. Uh, that's really what you want to see, that the shutter works. Um, otherwise, unless you really have a lot of time or want to spend money on a repair, uh, I really wouldn't uh, get too involved uh, to fix anything like that. That doesn't, the shutter doesn't work. So what I came here to show you is how to load film. So this was super intimidating for me at first because, oh, look, I got a roll of film. Great, I'm a cool photographer. Uh, okay, like what? How do you kind of roll it in? What do these little notches do? So I'm just gonna show you that really quick. Uh, the other thing to mention is um, this one I've kind of cleaned up a little bit. Uh, never, never touch this, like ever. I just, that's just a rule of thumb that I know uh, after doing a bunch of research. So only get it like professionally cleaned if it's really dirty. Uh, I kind of clean on all the debris out if there is any. You can actually see some uh, still left, but I just go really gentle on it. And if anything gets in there, there's some um, air cleaners uh, you can use, like ones that you use to clean your key uh, keyboards, but get it from a camera shop or take it in. Talk to people at the camera shop. They know this shit and they love this shit. So you can see the little notch there and that's gonna correspond to the notch inside of there. I'm just trying to see if you can get enough light there to see it. So hopefully you can see that little notches inside of there. They're gonna line up with the notches that you can see there. So the first thing you're gonna do is pull this up. Yes, I always thought there was another purpose to this. It's literally just for winding and rewinding your film. Because kind of just like a VHS, you gotta rewind it after. Um, some of them have little instructions on them uh, to keep track of different things. Honestly, I'm too much of a beginner to even know where to start with that stuff, so I don't. Um, okay. So, uh, sorry, I actually said the notch is in the wrong spot. So as you can see, there's a slot here and that's where I'm gonna put the bottom slot and then there's notches in the top as well. So literally, it's just gonna sit like that and this doesn't wanna push down so I'm just gonna find that sweet spot 
Yep, in there, found the sweet spot right away. And now it's more or less locked in there. So now you're literally gonna pull the film across. So what happens when you take a picture is that shutter opens that you saw earlier and it's gonna hit this, make a photo. That being said, never expose this to light. Like once you finish your roll, rewind it before you ever open this. Because this is fine right now, but once there's a photo on this, it'll almost guarantee get ruined, especially in full light. So if you need to take a peek and something's jammed, do it in your bathroom with your door closed and the lights off and as low, low light as you can possibly find, like a night light uh, nearby. Okay, so what's gonna happen is then you want to line this up. And again, I'm a total beginner, so I'm doing this like a beginner, uh, which is hopefully what you guys are watching for. If you're an expert, then you're rock watching the wrong video because uh, you already know how to do this shit. And if you don't, that's fine. And if this helps, that's great. So again, sorry, I'm, I'm totally off here right now. So I'm just trying to shove it through this little slide so you can actually move this around to get it to where you want. And that little peg right there, that little peg, I should find get a pointer over here. I'm gonna get a pointer. Okay, so this little peg right here, I wanna line up with these little notches, okay? And then I gotta worry about it after getting on these notches on the spindle. So this is usually the hardest part, in my opinion. It usually goes all right, actually. So there you go. So now you can see the notch is caught, the notch is through, the film. That's great. Okay, now you're saying, that's great. Now look at my film. It's, how do you shoot? How do you close? It's all loosey-goosey, right? So what you're gonna actually do is you're gonna advance the film. And to be honest, then you're gonna have to take a picture. Don't worry, it's not really gonna do anything. Uh, and sometimes you can actually kind of do this just by pulling it like that and getting it all lined up. So I'm just gonna try and get the spindle lined up a little bit here. I'm gonna try to get it caught on, oh, there we go, perfect. So now if you can see, I've now caught here and here. So that'll just help it keep it centered as well that it doesn't get all off base or jammed. And now it's flat, simple, great. So now I'm ready to have my first picture taken right here. And again, I probably loaded that like an absolute amateur, but I am an absolute amateur. So I'm fine with that. I was doing some light blowing because there's some debris in there from God knows what. And again, probably shouldn't have it in there, but I don't know how to professionally clean this uh, without risking damaging anything. So I just sort of clean as lightly as I can. Now, literally, usually most of them, it'll literally just snap back in. So now I'm literally in again. Um, if anything is a matter, let's say I go to advance it. I take the picture and let's say it's jamming or something like that. You can open it again. Um, Cause literally if your camera's jammed and you can't take a picture and just sort of <laughs> giving it a jostle doesn't do it. Uh, I would, I would say I just play it safe and um, and reopen it and fix it, unless you're at the very end of your reel, uh, then I wouldn't bother. Okay, so that's the video for how to load uh, your vintage camera. Now you're really ready to shoot. Uh, eventually I will do videos on how to rewind your camera, um, like rewind the film back into that spool. You literally just turn this back. Uh, and also camera settings. Uh, blew my mind as a person that knows nothing. Um, so if it helps, the settings that I have there are kind of really basic settings and they've probably been mixed around uh, and whatnot. Anyways, I hope that helps.